A live sheep export vessel, which was en route to the Middle East, has returned to WA. The federal government ordered the ship to divert last week after the Houthi rebel attacks in the Red Sea. Live to Crystal Wu, who is in Fremantle today. Crystal, what's next? Well, Karen, it's not yet clear whether the animals will all be offloaded or re-exported, but the MV Bahesia this morning docked in Fremantle at about 4am local time. On board, there are about 14 thousand live sheep and 2,000 cattle, altogether worth about $2 million. Now, it left Fremantle on January the January 5, but a few weeks later, the Australian Department of Agriculture uh, ordered the ship to return to Australia because of the ongoing tensions in the Middle Sea. It has arrived back in Australia and over the past few days has just lingered off the Western Australian coastline. We thought it was going to dock on Tuesday and it's now Thursday, but it is understood the exporters had to undergo a range of biosecurity controls. The opposition leader says the animals have plenty of food and drinking water and ventilation. Uh, while it's parked out there, it's still being aerated. The animals are getting plenty of air and food and water. So whilst the risk will be minimal from this vessel because it hasn't docked anywhere else, we still need to make sure that uh, we maintain the strictest biosecurity standards. But it has been a hot couple of days. Yesterday, temperatures in Perth reached 41 degrees. So animal activists are concerned uh, for the well-being of these sheep. The Department of Agriculture yesterday sent two independent vets on board to assess the situation and have so far reported no animal welfare concerns. Karen. Crystal, thank you. Talk to you soon.